as you know, I'm trying to collect for the very first system that I was uh, given for Christmas when I was about oof, eight years old. The Sega Master System. It's a game console that I have the best and most memories for. Um, and it has got um, quite a small, relatively small collection for me to go at. So, uh, yeah, we're on a bit of a memory hunt and uh, I'm taking you on my little journey. As I mentioned, we have these two games. We've got Thunderblade. And we have Super Space Invaders. Love the, uh, the white label on the Super Space Invaders. And the classic red and black on Thunderblade. So uh, I've played the games. I've gone through them and recorded some footage to show you guys. Now, obviously I've played Space Invaders. This is Super Space Invaders. But I hadn't played this version before. And I've never played Thunderblade. So thanks to Mark. And uh, blimey, it was difficult. So... Time for a quick review, and then I'll come right back. Everybody has heard of Space Invaders, whether it's on the arcade with its familiar cabinet and amazing sound effects, or one of the many home conversions. Space Invaders is definitely one of the most recognisable games ever. So because of that I had exceedingly high hopes for this version, especially on my beloved Master System. From the start, how the game loads up with a computer boot up screen, I was absolutely intrigued to say the least. Talk about building excitement. Then, at the end of the briefing, the music hits and I love it. What a start. A great soundtrack, I didn't want to press the start button. Before you start the game, you do get some options. Of course, I picked easy to start off with. Now, this game looks nothing like the original. Gone are the black backgrounds and in their place are various backdrops including things like cities and space stations. One helpful addition to this version is the shield meter, so you can take a few hits rather than dying straight away. And since there isn't any barriers in front of you and your spaceship, this is one welcome addition. Other additions include a two player mode, boss levels and shield power ups. I really wish that the music carried on while I was playing. The sound effects are different to the original but still slightly familiar but sometimes they do get slightly over repetitive. All in all this is a good game. I wouldn't say it's better than the original simply because of the fond memories that I have playing it in the arcade but for a home console version it's great and still highly addictive. This helicopter shooter from 1988 is a button pressing pattern memorising monster. I went through life so quickly and constantly seemed to be attempting the same section over and over again. So first of all the good points. The controls are tight and the graphics are solid, with shadows, lots of moving sprites, on screen and great colours. It has a few different levels including a third person perspective to keep things fresh and not just that, the master system runs the graphics brilliantly. But now for the bad points. My two big issues with this game are the fact that it's damn hard and the sound effects are ear piercingly bad. Maybe it's just the way I play games, but I couldn't get this one. I feel like I was looking at the game over screen more than I was the helicopter I was supposed to be flying. The sound effects to me just sound like constant hissing. The background music is highly repetitive and it's very high pitched as you're playing through and there's no real difference through the levels. Yeah, fair enough, they are pretty bad points, but I definitely will play this again, even if it is with the sound down. So there we have it, two more games and they were very cheap. One was free, one was 49 pence. Absolute bargain and I've got so much more to show you and once I've got some more time to film, we'll get that all sorted. So thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments down below if you played these two games and what you thought of them. And don't forget to also make sure you check out Kapow Emag on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and we've got a fantastic community on there talking about video games, movies, TV shows. 
that kind of thing as well. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Matt, this has been The Master System. Thanks for watching.